Case on show day or NPC show day bikini prep suitcase video what to bring everything that you're gonna need uh, I'll do that if this video gets a bunch of thumbs up and you let me know you want to see it hey guys L here today from best of body fitness here to talk to you for another bikini prep series about something that is like really important if you are a competitor that you should know going in because as a first time competitor I didn't know and I didn't know every single time I went to a show something was going to be different so guess what we're talking about today that would be what to expect on show day Real quick before we jump into the topic of today, I'm only going to say one quick thing. I always say that and end up talking about more, but uh, a lot of you have asked where my couch is from, um, and uh, it's from Boston Interiors, and it's called the Sawyer Couch. <laughs> um, I know a lot of you probably don't care, but I've gotten this question on almost every video. So this is from Boston Interiors, and I had to wait a long time for it to show up because I custom ordered it, the fabric and the color. Um, if you notice the beginning of my bikini prep series videos, I was on a bean bag. Okay, it was that's what it was. It was like this giant, disgusting bean bag that is still here. I'm looking at it right now. It's disgusting, but uh, that will be gone very soon. I promise. But it's like six feet, like wide and big and I don't know how to get rid of it. So anyway, that's the only thing that I wanted to say before I go into this video. And we're gonna get started, and we're gonna do it right. Now, so the first, absolute first thing that you need to know about your show day is that you can't expect really anything. Uh, you have to go in and go with the flow because no, I've done seven, eight shows and every single experience has been different. My first show, everything ran pretty smoothly. There was no craziness, but my like third and fourth show were just like a disaster the promote and it and it really all depends on the promoter so and how organized they are um, it, there's not to say one federation is better than the other although I have heard that OCB shows are run extremely well and they're fast and they do prejudging and finals in weird ways that are awesome for both the competitor and for the uh, athletes family and friends that come to watch and at least for the NPC I'm going to talk strictly about the NPC right now. We'll get started talking about the kind of information that you're going to be given for show day uh, before you show up. So basically they're going to tell you that there will either be a athletes meeting the night before, generally the Friday, or in the morning when you go to check in and register. So a few things that you'll need to do and need to have with you for um, the registration and the check-in. If you haven't registered for the show already, you'll have to do that. So you'll have to have cash for that. You'll have to have cash to uh, get your organization, uh, organization federation um, card, basically. That means like this year I'm compete. I'm part of the organization I'm competing. So uh, the federations go, the organization cards. I'm sorry, go from like January 1 to January 1. So although you may compete in November of this past year, you'll actually have to buy a whole new one when you go to compete in 2016. So that's really important. You gotta make sure that you have that up to You're date. gonna make sure that you have your suit with you. They say they do suit checks, but mostly just for bodybuilders, I believe they'll do suit checks. Um, and they'll only do weigh-ins uh, for the bodybuilders, I believe, and now the new men's classic uh, physique division where weight matters, but they will measure you. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to know uh, is what time your hair and makeup is. Generally, I like to get my hair and makeup done at once in the morning. I don't like to wait until I get to the venue uh, just because who knows what could happen. I don't know. I always get it done right before I check in. So generally, it's pretty early. I'm usually up at like six, maybe sometimes even earlier for my hair and makeup, just so it's out of the way. Um, you don't really know how the schedule is going to go most of the time if you're a bikini competitor, which is who I'm probably talking to right now. You don't go on stage until later, but we'll get into that in a few minutes. Um, so I generally get my hair and makeup done. So say, say check-in and registration is at 9 or 10 a.m. I gotta make sure I'm at the venue. I've gotta make sure I've got all my stuff packed. You're gonna wanna have everything packed up and you're gonna wanna have everything ready to go that you're not late because if you miss your check in where you get your number, that's where you will get your number after you get your height um, done and they write stuff down, whatever. Uh, 
they'll get really pissed at you if you're late for that. Uh, and they generally do a meeting, which is like, every time I've been like, they're gonna tell us really important stuff in the meeting, uh, they will probably just say like, let's do this guys, let's have a fun day. And then they're like, okay, you can go backstage. So uh, that's pretty much, it's, it's a timeline to have everybody there together at once so they can get the show kind of rolling smoothly. So you are backstage. Generally, people kind of fight for areas near plugs. Uh, not like a bad way, but like you want to get in there, you want to be early, so you can kind of pick where you want to be for uh, where you want to spend your backstage time. Depending on the venue that it's at, you will either be in a hallway, you may be, you may be in a high school that had um, like dressing rooms, whether they had like a big theater uh, program. So you never really know the type of venue, so check it out, see you. What it is if it's at a high school, sometimes be prepared to be in the hallway. I have been in like gymnasiums, I've been in um, like actual uh, like um, dressing rooms with awesome mirrors and lots of counter space for lighting. I've been in hallways uh, and so just prepare for that um, because you don't, so check out whatever the venue is and if you know you don't know where it is, um, make sure that you map quest it and Google it and all that stuff leading up to the show. I just noticed I have a bunch of um, charcoal and wax stuff on my hand from lighting the candles. Uh, but so the next thing that you're going to want to be aware of is uh, what time prejudging starts. This, I guess, I'll talk about what to tell your friends and family if they're coming to watch you. If you have friends and family asking whether or not you should they should come to the prejudging or to finals, I would say come to prejudging. Um, because at finals, sometimes, depending on the size of the show, they'll let you know the numbers of the competitors who are um, have made top five and are possibly getting awarded uh, beforehand. So if you... I hate to say it, but if you don't make top five, you there's a chance that you will not go on stage again. Uh, so that's really important. Uh, tell your friends and family to come to pre-judging because that's when the actual judging happens. Um, your stage time is most likely greater uh, during pre-judging. So uh, that's another little tip about show day. Tell your friends and family is to, unless they want to go to both. Go to both, that's fine. Sometimes they run really late. Uh, when I won the overall at the Connecticut um, Grand Prix, I was like the there was I think they put the numbers up too about who um, was going to be getting awards and stuff. I was on stage at like midnight and there was like eight people in the audience, so uh, they can run late and you don't know. So pre judging at least runs like sort of on time, uh, sort of <laughs> not really not many times has run uh, on time, but it can and if it does, your friends and family don't want to miss you. So kind of rewinding a little bit, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a full day of food with you. Obviously, listen to your coach. We'll be doing a how to find a prep coach, how to interview a prep coach video soon. If that this gets a bunch of thumbs up, if you guys wanna see it, I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm probably gonna do it anyway, so even if you don't wanna see it, you don't have to watch it. But, uh, so you're gonna to wanna to bring a bunch of food with you. I bring six meals of uh, chicken um, or fish and potato. I don't eat veggies on show day. That's entirely up to you and your coach. Um, you're going to want to bring the food that your coach is going to want you to eat um, right before stage, uh, after stage. Maybe they'll let you go out and eat something in between pre-judging and finals. But if you're going on stage for finals, I generally don't like to eat anything off plan until I know how the rest of the night is going to go. But so just listen to your coach in that sense. Um, what to bring with you, how much food, but I always bring at least six small meals of um, chicken and potatoes just to be sure that I have something. Um, and make sure that you have ice packs. Uh, if you're traveling to a hotel, make sure that you um, have ice packs for the next day because my, I ran into a situation where I had um, a fridge, but then I had to pack up um, ice because we didn't have a freezer. So anyway, uh, that's what to expect on show days, that it's gonna go long, that you're gonna need food. Um, so just to be prepared, you wanna have all of that kind of set, packed, and ready to go the night before. I would never try and do anything scrambling in the morning because you are up early and it's a, it's a 
not a stressful day, but it's a long day, um, and you'll be better off if you've got everything prepared. I have already said this, uh, I'm not sure, but there's a whole lot of hurry up and wait uh, on show day. So pretty much during pre-judging, they'll, bodybuilding will go, men's physique will go, figure will go, women's physique will go somewhere in there, bikini is most likely last. And uh, so you're waiting, 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 put your feet up, relax, I uh, bring a yoga mat, that'll be part of my uh, MPC uh, bikini show, whatever, I've said this before, it's gonna be in another video, but bring a yoga mat, because you're gonna wanna like lay down, bring a pillow, bring a chair, if you don't know the venue, talks about that too, you'll be backstage and they'll be like, They'll, be, they'll yell, literally yell back to you, and they'll be like, bikini, like, be, bikini novice, be ready in 10 minutes. And you're like, what? Like, oh my God, let me put my hairspray on and my lipstick and all that stuff. So they, and then, like, you'll get all ready, and then, like, men's physique will still be on. You'll be like, I still got to go through figure. So they try to keep organized, um, but they'll kind of throw at you, like, okay, you got to be ready now. And when they say that, like, they're like, on like you need to be backstage um, and then you may end up waiting so I just suggest that you s are prepared uh, as you know as soon as possible um, but you don't necessarily have to be like absolutely ready um, because the timing is just you never really know I'm gonna do a rundown on how MPC does their bikini stage walk and comparisons and then how they do finals um, this I think is very helpful for you guys so you should listen up <laughs> probably in MPC you come out so say there are 15 girls in your class you'll line up by number it goes numerically say you're number 75 and like so maybe you're at the end I think I was number 75 in one of my shows maybe my first show uh, but, and I was actually last at my first show. And I'm not gonna lie, being last was awesome because all 24 girls went in front of me. We'll just use my last show, my first show as an example. I was number 70 something uh, and I was last actually in line numerically. Don't know why, just was. Um, and so everybody, all 24 girls went out in front, uh, like first, like in front of me, did their individual. Um, and then they waited on the sides of the stage for everybody to go and then so I went out and I did my individual and then I went off to the side and basically what they do after that is they take depending on how many people so there's 25 of us um, 24 25 I don't know they took two lines so they took the first line which is the first 12 or whatever girls um, did the comparisons front back front back whatever walk front back front back not that long they sent them back to the side of the stage and then they took the second group out, which was my group. And they did the front back, walk, whatever, front back. And then that's, so then they send us back and then you kind of hang out for like, however long it takes them to decide. And then they start calling out the numbers. So that's when first call outs begin to happen. They have gotten a look at you individually. They've gotten a look at you in the group um, of posing. And then they have, um, they're like, sending numbers to the head judge, and the head judge will then call out the numbers that they want to see for first call outs. So it was called out for first call outs, and that means is that like you're in the running, basically, um, for top five. Some shows you're sure that it's top five, um, depending on how big the um, show is. So pretty much, I was up there for maybe 15 minutes. It was crazy, and they move you around. And um, so these are a couple of things like while posing um, that I'm not going to talk about today because I do want to do a whole video walking you through posing. Um, so yeah, and then once they've decided on top five, they may decide on top three. So, um, and then like they'll bring other people in if they're not sure who they want to be fourth and fifth. Um, but if not, they'll just send like the whole line off, and you'll go off stage, and then you just hang out till finals. This is the time to have fun. This is the time you've worked so hard. I said this in other videos, the do's and don'ts of peak week I talked about. This is your time to shine. It's your time to go and have a blast, meet people. Uh, you're in your little bubble with everybody who, everybody else who likes to compete and they get it. And maybe you went 16 weeks without anybody that just like completely understood. Um, and you'll just find an amazing bond with the other people that are in this. Um, I don't want you to be scared about your first show. Definitely nerves will be there, but don't be scared. They're like, they're literally 
such great people that you'll meet. I think one of the best parts about my first show was the experience of the people that I met. Um, I did my first show out in Michigan, which I've mentioned before. I didn't know anybody except for Dan. Dan competed in bodybuilding, and uh, so I had him. But the bikini girls were so nice, and I think that plays a huge role into whether or not you have a good first-time experience, whether the people around you are nice, but get to know them. You, you know, you can't judge somebody about like by how they look and if they look intimidating or anything like that. Everyone's nervous. Everybody is kind of like a little bit wound tight until kind of prejudging is over. So the party definitely backstage begins to happen between like after prejudging and when you're getting ready for finals and stuff, people are a little bit like more calm and uh, ready to hang out and have a good time. But um, I hope that covers show day stuff. Uh, I will like, that's, that's pretty much how it goes. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I already said that, so <laughs> that's going to be it for this video. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and a thumbs up if you want to see all those other things that I talked about. Um, I am officially six weeks and one day out from the Arnold. Uh, oh my god. Uh, so I'm excited, and uh, prep is going well, but it is going to be here before I know it. If you are going to the Arnold, I am so excited. I'm going to be at... Um, figuring out the details, but I will have Friday off because we compete Thursday and then again on Saturday. So I will be um, figuring out the details, like I said, at the PE Science booth on Friday. Not sure what time. And I'll also be at the Shoe Ferry um, booth on Friday sometime as well. Um, and hanging out and meeting you guys and stuff. So let me know if you're going and be sure that you try and find me and take a photo. And we're going to have a lot of fun. I can't wait to meet you guys. Oh, I've met like there's so many people that I can't wait to meet. Um, so what to expect on show day for the Arnold? I have no idea. Going into it kind of blind because obviously I've never been to the Arnold before. Um, so after that, I'll probably have a whole new what to expect when you go to a big show. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, and there's a couple other videos that I talked about wanting to bring to you guys. So I'm going to do those. We're going to have fun and we're going to do it all. <laughs>